you ever imagine that you'd be able to read a book again? Never. Never on your nelly. The blind patient's able to read again because of a medical microchip implanted in the back of the eye. For the first time, blind patients have been able to read again thanks to a microchip implanted at the back of the eye. A surgeon at Moorfields Eye Hospital in London who led the pioneering treatment said the results are astounding. Our medical editor, Fergus Walsh, has been to meet Sheila, who says the treatment has changed her life. Sheila Irwin began losing her sight more than 30 years ago and is registered blind. This is what her world looks like due to a condition called dry age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. Is it left now? Yeah, it says no, isn't it? So, yeah. But everything changes when Sheila, who's 70, puts on these special glasses. They dot at Rhine Tor. She can read again. Next day. For the first time in years. So how is this possible? This tiny microchip, as thin as a human hair, was implanted under Sheila's retina. Here you can see it in position at the back of her eye. For company. A camera in the glasses sends a video feed via infrared beam to the chip, which is enhanced by computer. The images on the left are the camera output. Those on the right are what Sheila sees. Tin of tar paint. Out this world. Amazing. One happy bunny. I could have cried when I looked, because I haven't seen letters for so long, and then I lit up the word, and it was overwhelming. It's really made a tangible difference to your life. A big difference entirely, because I read the post, um, read books, do crosswords, Sudoku. Did you ever imagine that you'd be able to read a book again? Never. Never on your nelly. See, I'm just checking the macula. The chip's in an excellent position. Moorfields Eye Hospital in London played a key role in the international trial. Of 32 blind patients given the implant, 27 were able to read again using their central vision. So this is the first treatment that's been demonstrated to effectively give patients meaningful vision that they can use in their daily life, such as reading, writing, so I think this is a major advance. This is pioneering, and I think what you'll find with patients is that it is life-changing. There we go, Sheila. Thank you. Right. The technology is not yet licensed or available on the NHS, but offers hope to thousands of patients with Sheila's form of dry AMD. I'm going to turn off the lights now. Thank you. Yep. H M. It takes concentration but she's now able to read every letter on an eye chart. Sheila's delight at the new technology well is plain to see. Very impressive. Very good. Very Fergus Walsh, BBC News.